I see this as nothing but a win all around. This is a win for our tourists. This is a win for Dallasites. Dallas City Council wants a new convention center. Wednesday, they moved forward with a plan to demolish the current one and build west of Lamar Street, going south over the top of I-30. We're losing the ability to get these major conventions. Councilman Omar Narvaez says the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center is simply falling apart. Our convention center is just antiquated and it doesn't work for them anymore. A presentation showed photos of leaky ceilings and claims it takes 20 minutes to walk from the kitchen to the far side of the center. The city says issues have cost Dallas 948 events in 15 years. We could spend hundreds of million do of dollars to repair the convention center and all we're getting is the exact same building. The new plan would increase the hotel sales tax to raise $2 billion to pay for it. Essentially, we're making people who visit Dallas pay for all of this. Everyone wants to say this is going to spur economic development, and that's exactly what was said every single time a city council in Dallas passed to add on to this convention center. Councilwoman Carol Mendelson was the lone no vote, questioning the lack of clarity on design and cost and why the current center is in such bad shape. And the taxpayers deserve to know how did that happen and how do we know it won't happen again? If everything stays on track, they could break ground as early as next year and be done by 2026. When we do things in the city of Dallas, we do it bigger and better. This is far from over. The next step is for council to pass another resolution with details like construction and purchasing, and then eventually voters will decide whether that hotel tax is increased to pay for it. In Dallas, I'm William Joy.